Hi, I'm Ellie, and this is your weekly theatre news recap, the show where I take the week's news and I give it to you while looking pretty. This is a recap of this week's uh, UK theatre and West End news. I do these every single week. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single one. And yet again this week, it's been a fairly quiet week. There's some new casts uh, for long-running shows, but I feel like we're, we're yet to see the big boom of theatre news. So just a couple of things to recap this week. Uh, but we're going to start, as we always do, with casting. First off, let's talk about Witness for the Prosecution, which has announced its next cast. This is a play based on the iconic Agatha Christie novel, which has been playing at their very site-specific uh, venue at the London County Hall for, I, I think they're like eight, nine years now. It, it, it's lasted a long time and I still haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> but it's, yeah. Uh, but we have our new cast, uh, right here. Uh, Benjamin Westerby will be playing The Accused, Leonard Vole. Katie Butchholtz will be playing Roman Vole. Romain? Romani Vole. I haven't seen the show, I don't know how it's said. <laughs> Stephen Hogan will be playing So Wilfred Roberts. Uh, Paul Anstell will be joining to play Mr. Mayhew. David Shaw Parker, we're playing Mr. Justice Rainwhite, and John McKay, we're playing Mr. Myers. We also have uh, some more company members who will be in the description, as always, with uh, the ensemble. But, very exciting. I... I need to get myself here. I need to get myself to this theatre. I keep... I keep doing this. I keep having, like, loads of shows that I haven't seen, and I just let the long runners pass me by. <laughs> Uh, I have actually today booked a ticket to see Matilda this week, so um, I, I can finally cross that one off. <laughs> and I'm seeing it before class change, so I can see it again afterwards. But I will need to get myself down to the county hall to see that. As well as this, another show that uh, I still haven't seen yet, and one of the ones that I will be seeing, because I'm trying to cross off all the theatres that I haven't, or like the West End theatres I haven't been to yet. Uh, Mamma Mia has announced its next cast ahead of its 25th anniversary next year. Uh, this company will be joining from the 9th of October. Uh, and they've also extended the booking period of Mamma Mia. We all know it's not going to close anytime soon. And it's now booking it until the 28th of September 2024. So you've got a whole another year to see Mamma Mia if you haven't already. Uh, we have had some very exciting announcements this week that uh, Kate Graham will be rejoining the show. Uh, they previously played Tanya in London from 2017 to 2019, and they are coming back to play the role of Tanya once again. Very excitingly for me, I know uh, Kate Graham because they were played Diane in Come From Away, one of my favourite musicals. I love it so much. As well as uh, Graham, we also have Nicola Dawn Brooke, who's joining to play Rosie, Hayden Oakley, who'll be playing Sam, Olivia Brooks, who'll be playing Lisa, Shay Willis, who'll be playing Eddie, and Archangelo Kula, who'll be playing Pepper. We also have Jesse Odelay, who is moving from the ensemble to take over the role of Ali. Uh, we also have some new ensemble, linked in the description as always. Very cool. I, I look, Mamma Mia has not been one that I've like pushed myself to see. It's one that I've kind of left on the back burner a bit, but I need to go see it because it's one of the Western theatres I haven't been to yet. There's only five and I'm so close. I'm, I'm planning, I don't know what you guys think of this idea, but I'm planning to do like a vlog series as I get closer and closer down the list of West End theatres I haven't been to, counting down which ones I see first and kind of hyping it up a little bit. So you're going to be seeing my mirror in a vlog very soon. Let's just say that. And maybe I'll coincide it perfectly with a new cast of my Mia. Next up, we have the rest of the cast announced for The Time Traveller's Wife, a brand new British musical, which is opening at the Apollo Theatre next month, I'm pretty sure, which is very exciting. Uh, there's some great names here. Uh, we know the main cast, uh, which includes David Hunter, who is playing the lead. Amazing actor. Amazing actor. Uh, it's got a very exciting cast so far, and we have some more 
beautiful names to add to the list. So Sorel Marsh, who's recently been in Mamma Mia, will be playing Henry's mum. Orwin Taylor will be playing the librarian. Irfan Damani, who's been in the Spongebob musical, I loved Irfan in that show, will be playing Claire's dad. Alexandra Dorr, who was in the UK tour of... it rhymes. Uh, if I got the pronunciation right, it runs. <laughs> of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Uh, they will be playing Claire's mum. Alex Hodge will be playing Jason and Mark. And Helena Pipe will be playing Dr. Kendrick. We also have some other names, some ensemble names, and some young actors who are in the description, as always. I am very excited about this. You know how much I love a new British musical. You know how much I, like, I get excited to see... The West End filled up with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful British musicals. Uh, and this one, it looks like it's going to be beautiful from the marketing, from the cast. I'm very excited. And obviously, you know, I'm ready. I love David Hunter. I love a David. I love David Hunter in their show. Uh, next up in news, something very exciting is that we finally have an announcement about the Prince of Egypt. Pro shot. This pro shot was filmed years ago. Years ago. And we kind of were just like, I, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I was kind of losing hope that we would ever actually see it go anywhere. But it has been announced that it will be broadcast across the UK in cinemas from the 19th of October. Uh, tickets are already on sale from Picture House locations. And if you're wondering, this press release states that the BBFC has rated the film PG. So your little ones, they can go see it. Make sure they got some parents with them. Otherwise, mm -mm -mm, no. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited about this. I miss Prince of Egypt. And it's still one that I kind of like slap myself on the knee for like, damn it. Ah, I wanted to see it. And I was kind of like, okay, look, you didn't get to see it, but at least you're going to be able to see the pro shot. And then it took years for it to come out. So you know I'm excited for this. I don't typically manage to catch pre pro shots because I'm in a very awkward location that doesn't often get like cinema releases properly, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna go see it. <laughs> and finally, as I said, there's not many stories this week, so we've only got a couple of transfers and new productions news. Uh, the first thing to ask, um, this isn't really new news, but they've kind of announced this week the official dates for Spirited Away. So Spirited Away is transferring from Japan. The Japanese version is coming over. They are not translating it. It's going to be in Japanese with English subtitles. And we knew that it was going to the London Coliseum from April. We now know that the official dates that it will be playing between are the 30th of April, to the 20th of July. So it's got a nice kind of late spring, early summer run if you are interested in going to see it. Uh, we've seen a lot of great animes and Studio Ghibli films be adapted to the stage and I'm very excited about this. We've seen a lot of the puppetry already from the Japanese production and it looks stunning. It looks stunning. I'm very excited. And also this week I'm seeing Death Note so I'm kind of in the mood. I'm kind of in the mood for a uh, stage anime. <laughs> Next up we have an announcement from the other palace. Um, and if you are anything like me and you saw the title of this show, uh, you had a little hearty chuckle to yourself and you can kind of tell what we're in for. Uh, the other palace has announced its studio uh, adult Christmas show for this year, which is titled A Very Very Bad Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord uh, this has been written by Neil Hurst and Jody Prenger and is running from the other in the other part of studio even uh, from the 1st of December to the 7th of January uh, it's an adult show it's uh, suitable for audiences 16 and above and uh, I think you can already tell the tongue in cheek nature of this show uh, it it interests me. I am intrigued, I must say. I am intrigued, and I will, I sit here intriguingly to wait to see what this is like. I know that uh, the previous uh, adult-themed uh, twists on classic Christmas tales 
uh, have done quite well at the Other Palace studio for the past couple of years. I didn't manage to catch last year's one, but hopefully I'll be able to catch this one. And finally, we got a very interesting announcement that hasn't been like completely announced yet, but we've we've got the first kind of hint that this is happening. Hairspray is going back on a UK tour. Uh, we don't have any other date except Birmingham right now because the Birmingham uh, theatre, I can't remember the name, I think it's Birmingham Rep. I think it's Rep has announced their um, season this year. And among it, we got the dates for Hairspray playing there between the 16th to the 21st of December, uh, September, even. I can't speak and I don't edit these, so, ah. <laughs> 2024, the, the 16th to the 21st of September 2024. So, looks like we're getting Hairspray back. Look, I love a bit of Hairspray. Hairspray is camp. Hairspray is, is campus tits. We love a little bit of Hairspray. And I am, I am more than happy to welcome Hairspray back to the stage. I think it, it always does well on tour. It's such a, it's such a classic and everyone loves it. So, you know, I'm excited for it. Uh, we're going to get some tour dates very soon. Uh, I think, hopefully, maybe, yes. Or un unless Birmingham's just doing it for like four days and then no one else gets it. But who's to say? <laughs> and that is this week's theatre news. Of a quieter news week again you know but as i said it seems like something big is building it seems like we're going to get something exciting very soon uh, and still some very cool stories in here so what are you most excited for what are you looking forward to which story did i look the best telling you about it's obviously the hairspray one <laughs> let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below if you did enjoy this video please consider hitting like and subscribe it really helps me out and it helps out the channel here's some links to some other videos on screen right now but that is it for me today and i'll hopefully see you next time i don't know why i'm doing this so intensely today okay bye <laughs>